Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is your reading for March this year. Hope you're well. Hope you're doing okay. What's crowning the reading first for you, Capricorn, is the Nine of Rods. Nine of Rods and also the Ace of Rods. So we've got major things happening for you this month. Major, major things. You feel like you're ready for something big to happen. Big changes, launches of something, launches of a new product, launch of a new career, launch of a new relationship, launch of a new job in some description, launch of a new project. Uh, you're worried about competition, but it's okay. You're on guard and you feel like you need to keep your cards close to your chest. You don't want to leak out too much information. You don't want to spill the beans is what I'm getting with that. You want to make sure that you've got all of your T's crossed and your I's dotted uh, so you can move forward into this month with clarity, with in having your whole dreams and goals and wishes intact and also successful. So what's underneath or at the base of this whole reading is the death card. So we've got major change here, Capricorn. Ma major change, I feel, coming through this launch, this Ace of Rods, this birth of something new. So you've got major change, birth, redeath, regeneration. So something big changing, moving and flowing in your life. <sighs> Excuse me. Something very, very big moving, changing and flowing in your life. Something something coming out of the ashes, something being reborn, revisited. Could also be some some sort of signifying person under the sign of Scorpio. Could be something to do with leaving uh, a situation behind and starting fresh. Somebody eclipsing or going out of your life. It could be also in touch or in line with the eclipses that are going to be happening towards the end of the month on the new moon. Around that, on the internal level, on the internal emotional side, we have the page of cups. So you feel ready for something. You feel ready to make an offer to come forward, to have your heart exposed, to receive an offer, to be cherished, to be loved, to be nurtured. You're feeling very cozy inside yourself, very at ease. You also feel very abundant. Some of you might also be pregnant or be trying to get pregnant. This could be the month of pregnancy for you. You could also be very close to a child if you have children in your life or be have a very good month with your child if, you're, if you do have children in your life. But this is maybe an offer of a new program is what I'm getting through the cards, a new launch, something working in your favour, Capricorn. Unexpected things that could pop up this month on the internal is an internal celebration something private, something between you and your close friends or associates, something personal. So you could be celebrating a win. It could be just inside of yourself, having a celebration with yourself, by yourself, for yourself of a win of some description of a launch, of an accomplishment, achievement, something big happening. So you could be thinking, yay, I've got this, I've got this in the bag. This is um, something to celebrate. So you could be having a personal private celebration with this particular um, achievement and launch. The outcome on the internal is the Eight of Swords. So there's something that you're not quite seeing. You could also be worried or concerned about something or feel like there's a missing piece of the jigsaw puzzle. You might have to take the blindfold off to see the full picture. You might feel like there's something that you're not quite seeing that you need to see, but maybe it's not the right time to see Capricorn. Maybe it's time to just sit and wait and just enjoy the rejoicing, enjoy the revelry, enjoy the accomplishments and the achievements that you're going, that you're embracing right now and leave this un unseen object or thing or situation kind of in the mist for the moment. Just leave it there because I feel like it will unveil itself in good time. On the external plane, in the environment around you, in the external, you have the three of rods. So it could be a website you're launching. It could be something that you're importing or exporting. It could be that you've sent your uh, application over the seas and far away it could be if to a distant land or a distant shore it could also be to a another state or province or city 
You could be marketing something, selling something, exporting something, uh, s sending or mailing, emailing off your application for something important. It could be even a visa application as well because it's about seas. It could be that you're, you're wanting to go over the seas far away or you're applying for a visa to travel. It could be even a business visa to go somewhere and do something. Uh, China and Hong Kong come to mind for some of you. Also Europe, some of you, uh, come, it comes to mind as well. You could be applying for a Schengen visa. You could be applying for a business visa in the Schengen zone. Cyprus also comes to mind. Uh, I'll see what else comes through. Um, some of you might be, uh, yes, exploring Asia and you might be getting a business visa to work or live in Asia for a while. I feel like it could be a six month visa or some, some, some visa where you need to come and go from this location or stay there for a while. Or do business in that location you could be setting up some sort of offshore company as well it could be a shell company or an offshore company as well on an island or a far shore of some description it could be the caribbean or panama i'm picking up panama as well for some of you and peru for some of you as well unexpected things on the external are the four of rods you could come across the i the most ideal location to be in, something that you've always dreamt and wished of. You could also have an unexpected proposal, relationship, partnership, marriage popping up around you. You could come into a soulmate here. You could um, build something with a partner. You might come into real estate property. You might find the ideal house or home to live in on the external. You could be going and moving somewhere that is very... Uh, beautiful and nice to live in somewhere where you're really happy where you feel very, feel very grounded feel very close to nature there could be castles in the area or some old relics of some description as well there could also be a river or a lake in the area as well then we have also Canada comes to mind for some of you as well some, some of you are coming and going you know from Asia to Europe to north america and vice versa then the outcome on the external you have the star so you could be winning some sort of award you could be getting a launching a bestseller or receive notification that you've sold a certain number of uh you know copies of a book that you've published or you could be getting a promotion in the company that you're working for you might be promoted to manager or the star you're the star of the show you could also be getting some achievement award in the arts, being on stage, being in the public eye. You might hit a jackpot in the sense of a certain number of followers, a certain number of fans, etc., a certain number of subscribers, something along those lines. The, st the stars are shining on you, Capricorn, and you feel like you've got star potential. You feel like you're sort of unlocking something that you might have been working on for a very long time. You've got celebration here. You've got big changes, accomplishments. You've got a launch of something major and definite change in the air. So I wish you all the best Capricorn for the month moving forward. Lots of love and blessings. Take care. Ciao for now. And join me on one of my lives on YouTube on Wednesday, sorry, not Wednesday, Sunday night, US time, 10 p.m. New York, 7 p.m. LA and Thursday night, same times. 10 p.m. New York and 7 a.m. LA and that is Friday morning 10 a.m. Indochina time and 11 a.m. Perth time Sydney and Melbourne is 2 p.m. Mondays and Fridays take care ciao for now